Hello, I'm back again, this time to talk to you about our special ground anchors that allows for the placement of a steel post directly into the ground without the necessity of encasing the post in concrete. Part of the technology to achieve this outcome goes back thousands of years where man made a hole in the ground, placed a post in the ground, compacted the soil around that post and that was the beginning of a structure. We have designed a steel ground anchor that embraces both the ancient technology of soil compaction and the modern technology of design where we have by clever placement of steel plates been able to divert a standard vertical up and down load to a horizontal load against the walls of the hole. Only the basic tools of a crowbar, post hole shovel, sledgehammer, light hammer and spanners are required to make a satisfactory steel strainer post installation. A cheap lightweight two man auger to dig a 15 centimetre pilot hole in the centre of the hole makes digging the hole with a crowbar and shovel so much easier. There is no necessity for heavy and expensive pile driving equipment as is required with other steel strainer post installations. First of all you need a hole ideally 400 millimetres wide and 800 millimetres deep. The hole does not need to be more than 800 millimetres deep because the load on the post is diverted to the walls of the hole in both uplift and download. This is achieved by compaction around the cleverly designed plates that are welded to the anchor fitment. My grandson Adam is now going to demonstrate how easily you can erect a steel strainer post in just a few minutes. Adam is now bolting the post to the anchor. Once the post is fixed to the anchor, the post is centred in the hole. The stay is then attached to the post so that the post can be squared off to the fence line. The stay also helps to hold the post vertical while the compaction around the plates takes place. The loose earth is placed in the hole in 100mm layers and compacted with the bar until the earth compaction is solid to the feel of the bar. Once the post has been established as basically plumb, the stay is lifted up to its approximate final position and the compaction continues. The post is checked periodically for plumb and adjusted accordingly. In a very short space of time, the compacted soil in the hole will reform to its original state. A pathway for the stay is dug into the ground so that the foot can be hammered into the ground without the stay being obstructed by the ground. The foot of the stay can be installed horizontally if the topsoil is not deep enough to facilitate the foot being driven into the ground. Once the foot has been hammered into the ground, the stay clamp can be adjusted up or down to plumb the post. Once the post is plumb, the clamp can be tightened off. Our strainer posts can have fences running off them in eight separate directions due to the versatility of the stay clamps. The stay clamps offer four positions square off the post, and four positions across the diagonals. A cap is placed on the top of the post to keep the rainwater out. The installation is then complete.